Hi, how are you? It's Trav Senior, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4. In the last episode, we did some Helltides, and today, we're going to do another Helltide, but we'll also do a Nightmare Dungeon as well. Father, First, I'm going to roll off these ovals here, see if we got anything good. Not the greatest stuff, too, the same trait right there. It's too bad. And I'm going to craft... Uh, some elixirs. Elixirs. Brood to order. Elixirs. Get these weak iron barb elixirs here. Make around, I don't know, seven. Ah, there we go. Good batch there. Now let's get rid of these legendaries, guys. Too bad we didn't get anything, any new aspects. What will it be? Nothing that we're really looking for there. You can take what's left. Are real sacred? Anything breaks, the forge is hot. All right, off to the Helltide, guess. We should be getting close, though, to. Fighting Elias once again. See how everything goes here. Hopefully we get some like nice loot, maybe like a, a rare elixir as well. Would be pretty good to get. Alright, so let's go find an event. Got a bunch of time. To get 175 cinders here. Oh, wow. oh wow, we got two events in here. That's cool. So we'll also get some levels up as well to get our uh, to get another. I haven't done this in a long time. Tree of Whispers dash. Tree of Whispers is, is sometimes worth doing. Sometimes you can get like a legendary cache. Which is pretty good. Get him down. Stop him. Where's the one with the... There he is. No! I'm out of spirits. One sacrifice went through. We got one more remaining. Not ready yet. That was brutal. Snakes are gonna get through. Oh, damn it. It's too bad we failed. But we got a lot of, uh. Not ready yet. Harvested a lot of these, uh. These things. I forget what they're called. I haven't done one of those events in a very long time. Oh, nice sorcery. I must wait a moment. This does a bunch of damage and wrecks everything. Alright, so we just need four more and then we can turn this in. I guess we'll go north. And we'll at least, you know, turn that... ...this event in. Oh, 
And I think we'll need like two more favors to get a cash from the Tree of Whispers. Right here? Should be right up here, right? There we go. And there's supposedly uh, a goblin around here? There he is. Trying to get away. Where'd he go? Oh, he got away! <laughs> right, right, right on time. That was close. He almost died there. I got some elites here. A lot of meteors falling from the sky in this area. I need more spirit. Why is this guy running away? We can catch him there, nice. Got both of them in that. Not ready yet. I watch out for the explosion. At the end of this. Alright, so now we can turn this in. We'll probably have to fight another three elites, I believe. We've turned in the harvest. Yeah, it's three elites. We've done this in quite a while. There we go. So we just need two more Grim Favors. Maybe we'll be able to t get that done while we're doing the Helltide. You have to go over here, though. Get the final two. I need more time. You have to go into a cellar. Supposedly a lot of people don't like cellars. <laughs> or the cellar events. I don't know why. I think they're okay. I've done too many of them though, I will admit. I need more spirit. Oh, so let's see what's going on over here. Oh, we got some Kamikaze demons. This is brutal. It's too bad we have to use that there. Gotta make sure we don't get CC'd again. Find the corpse, defeat the Flesh Forger. Where is the corpse? Looks like someone else is here. I if they found the corpse. Do not have enough spirit. This guy's only level 52. Supposedly, if you're like a lower level. Oh, we, well, we did it. Finished the flesh cord. Nice. But if you're a lower level and say I'm playing with him, it feels like he's probably doing more damage than me against the mobs. I'm not too sure how that works, but that's what I've heard. Like the higher the level you you are, like the the worse the scaling is when you're grouped up with lower level players. 
Well, it's actually better for you to be play with lower level players. Because they'll probably do more you know, damage than you. Not too sure how that works, though. But it is probably kind of interesting how they I have to, like, scale spirit. everything in the open world. Alright, nice, here we go. Now we can turn in to the Tree of Whispers, all the Grim Favors we got. See if we get a nice cash. I'm just gonna get cinders. I'm low on spirit. A hundred away. From what we need. So let's see where we want to go next. Probably back here and then south. Seems to be uh cash down there. Oh, we're getting stunned. Watch out. One thing I'm not doing. It's too bad I don't have a consumable up. Gonna get that 5% XP. I'm out of spirits. I don't know why they did that. You know, you get 5% XP if you use an elixir. Is it to promote using elixirs, I guess? Maybe that should just be baseline. It's kind of weird how every single elixir is like, 5% XP buff. <laughs> it should just be like, just give everybody a 5% XP buff and just let the elixirs be elixirs, right? Oh, yeah. I almost got blown up there. It's kamikaze demons, man. There should be an event down here. Looks like there's not. We'll have to keep going south, but right over here, I guess. Hopefully we don't die. We could probably die and still get at least one chest. Got a bunch of time. There's no pressure. I need time to do that. There we go, here's the event. Looks like this is the one of those... Actually, there's nothing going on here. I'm All not right. ready yet. Just... Fight demons that are around here. Oh man, these Balrogs, man. Do a lot of damage. There we go. Time to Vents back. A bunch of zealots in the middle getting blown up by meteors. It's probably my favorite event, the portal one. Get a lot of mobs to fight. Gotta watch out though. You can die. You can get overwhelmed. Don't get stunned by that goat, man. Not a good time to actually uh, deal with some of these guys. I need more time. The final three are coming out. Oh. Watch out. Don't get over. I need time to do that. Get me out of there. Right, one more. 
The final portal. I'm not ready yet. That's awesome. I think we get XP for that. Pretty sure. I'm fighting this boss. It's got a bunch of. Got to get these ballistas down, or you're gonna get completely wrecked. This is the boss, kind of like the boss from the first uh, Capstone dungeon. You need time to do that. Pretty much the same mechanics. Still struggling now. Our boss damage is pretty damn bad. You need time to do that. Guy's a level 68 boss. Two levels lower than Elias. You do no damage, man. So does this like Necromancer. Level 63. Have enough spirit. It's hard to tell, like, what kind of damage we're really doing. Because, not ready yet. you know, the Necromancer's with us. There's a little bit of scaling going on. Gotta get rid of these ballistas, or they're gonna hurt too much. Must wait a moment. There you go. He's gonna do this ability. Our second stun. He's not even not even half health. If there's a rogue here that he'd get completely wrecked during that. For some ads to come up before we. There we go. There we go. Put ballistas down. Hopefully, he gets the other one. Uh, gotta get these ballistas down. Nope, he just left. <laughs> so you're taking too long to kill me. See you later. Come back when you get some actual damage. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Druid's gonna be cool, man. There's, you know, it's the class that's the weakest. It's the class everyone says sucks. They don't suck, though. They're pretty cool. Just need to get a certain build going. I think that's like it's pretty much like that with every class. Like we're missing a couple aspects to actually make sure I like work work better. Blown up by those guys. Oh wow. Get the harbinger here. Looks you guys got the chilling wind. What else has he got? Poison enchanted, so we can't can't stay close to him. I'm not ready yet. So we'll keep on uh, go this way. Actually, we'll get some intelligence. And the next step is actually to go up and get uh, poison resilience. 
I'm gonna get 4% maximum life and 24% uh, poison resistance, which won't really help us much against Elias. But the, all this max life will be good. Try to get all that max life right there. And then we'll try to get height and malice as well. Be nice, because we if we had a, our renown finish, we probably wouldn't have height and malice by now. But we're kind of open on that. I should check out a regular dungeon. I could be wrong about the XP. Maybe it's actually not bad at all. I'm interested to see what level everything would be. I would assume it's, it'd be like Helltides, right? Like everything would be like 65. Probably not that bad. Maybe trying to get our renown up is a, is a good idea. Not really sure what to do, guys. My first character. <laughs> That's the fun part of the journey. You know, you learn a lot and you'll make some different decisions on the next character you level up. I do not have enough spirit. I must wait a moment. Uh, I think X, like trying to get XP is, is for sure the the number one thing you want to do. But I also think Renown's pretty important as well. Like 20 Paragon points from all of the the Renown that you get, that's, that's a lot. Pretty big power spike, I think. Probably worth it if you're not, you know, trying to speed run to 100. So we're pretty close to to being complete here. Looks like this is a Grim Favor event, actually. We won't get uh, the Grim Favor from it because we are capped at 10 at the moment. Maybe we should just, like, get out of here. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Just go to the chest. By the time we get to the chest... Should have like another 20 plus cinders. I'm not ready yet. So where would the chest be? It's kind of in the middle here. I think just to the south, like around here. Oh, we have to destroy this boss. Might as well fight him. For 30, 32 seconds to get him down. I don't know if that'll work. These heralds are like buffing him up or healing him. Actually, could be doing that. I think they give buffs. Yeah, look at that. Clearly buffing that elite. Nice, got a shrine, gem shrine. Bunch of cinders here. Whoa, look at all the cinders here. Someone went on a healing spree in this area. Look at all these. What the heck? <laughs> this guy, thank you. Is that it right there? It's a tortured gift of weaponry. Trying to find this final chest, having a, kind of a rough time here. I think it's down here, like... Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
Let's open it up, see what we get. Two hand sacred axe. That could be a big upgrade there. I'm hoping it is. Sort of undead slang. Alright, so let's head back. I think I'm going to try to make some more gold. We have a lot of gems that can be uh, upgraded. And it's going to be quite expensive. Millions of gold is going to cost me to upgrade these gems that we've been collecting. So I think it's, it's about time to start selling until we have like 10 million gold. We'll worry about, I guess, materials I'll later. Psych on that. Deal 13% increased damage for each second you stand still. Cool, I guess. We don't have that one, but it's not what we want. It's a pretty good one. A low roll, though. Increases uh, Earth and Bulwark by 6 seconds. In addition, ki killing an enemy with Earth skills replenishes 120 active Earth and Bulwark barrier. Not bad. Out for blood, eh? That's a deal. Don't hurt yourself. Shouldn't take us too long to get to 10 million, though. We'll get rid of some of these. This one's pretty bad as well. I can break that down. This weapon's okay. I think it's it's got some nice uh, stats on it, though. 33% damage to distant enemies. 45% overpower. 24% damage to stun enemies. 18, yeah, pretty low rolls, actually. Not that great. Probably just get rid of it. It's Bulwark 1. It's okay, we'll just get rid of it. To be honest, a lot of the legendaries I have stashed, you're probably just going to end up getting rid of anyways. Some of them are worth keeping, though, because supposedly it's cheaper to uh, go to the Occultus and extract aspects off of uh, just... Legendary items compared to, like, sacred or ancient legendaries. Don't we have, like, a quest to turn in here? Do we have to buy this? Oh, it's a quest item. Interesting. So what do we got to do here? Just extract? It is done. Nice. Got a little, uh cash out of that. A couple, <laughs> couple of gems. Alright, so let's uh, go over here. And we'll turn in uh, this, turn, turn in some to the Tree of Whispers. Let's see what we get. Ah, greater collection of amulets. No, Not bad. Witchwater Nightmare Sigil. Nice. I don't think we've done that, maybe? Decent roll on that. It's okay. Not bad. The stats on it are somewhat alright. Maybe we'll stash that. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we'll take a break from Hell Tides and we'll do some Nightmare Dungeons. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.